Sergeant Jerry Boyle. Cop shop. Oh, was it a sheep or something? It's a lamb. I mean, what would his parents think? I got some information about that murder last night. What murder? How many murders have you had in the last 24 hours? Well, that's for us to know and you to find out. Sidereel sat down with the director John Michael McDonough to talk about his latest film, The Guard. I'd sort of tried to get a, a different film made for a long time and it didn't seem to be happening. People just sort of responded to the script but never used to get the money, never seemed to get the money. And then I had a bad experience, I wrote the screenplay for Ned Kelly which didn't turn out the way I was hoping it would. I sort of, <laughs> in a place let's say of bitterness, contempt and rage and all of the character of Jerry Boyle that's played by Brendan Gleeson kind of flowed out of that. Now these men are highly dangerous, in the vicinity of $500 million worth of cocaine on board. Yes, Sergeant. I thought only black lads were throat dealers. And Mexicans. Apologize to the man. Apologize for what? For your racist slurs, for one thing. I'm Irish, sir. Racism is part of my culture. Maybe I'm slightly sort of, I don't know, I'd say autistic or something, but I never really <laughs> considered uh, considered the way it would be received. Um, my, when my brother had read the script, he said, no, no, I think this might shock people. So I thought we might start by canvas in the neighborhood. It's chilly out, huh? Sorry, you lost me at we. And I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Top down, go on, Megan Doris! It was a Gaelic speaking region. Can I teach you that with Langley? How you doing, sir? Sir, Langley's the CIA, you idiot, not the FBI. You know, so many actors say they're looking for these small indie movies that have great scripts that, you know, that are kind of edgier and they want to attach themselves to. And you hear that all the time, and most of the time it's just waffle. They never attach themselves to it. They get the, you know, they go and do, uh, you know, I don't know, Transformers 5 or whatever the hell it is. They, they, it's just a lot of bullshit most of the time, really. But Brendan and Don actually put their names behind it when there was no money, you know. So it'd, be good, it'd be a good idea if more actors did that. Only having a bit of fun, like, don't mean nothing by it. Right, half a billion dollars worth of cocaine, you think this is a fit subject for levity? Street value. Excuse me? Street value. You lads are always announcing a seizure of drugs worth a street value of $10 million or $20 million or half a billion dollars. I do always wonder what street it is you're buying your cocaine on, because it's not the same street as I'm buying my cocaine on. <laughs> That's enough now, boy. With these sorts of low budget films, I mean, I can't compete with um, films that are 60, 100 million dollars, you know, in terms of special effects and all that kind of thing. But you can compete with them in the level of the language or the comedy and you can push it further. So you're pushing it into areas where they probably haven't seen it before. Did you open the projects? No, I did not grow up in the projects. come from a very privileged background. Some in the Hamptons, skiing in Aspen. Dark black people couldn't ski. Or is that swimming? <laughs>